I just want to say thank you to Women in Enterprise um, for all their support and work and pull in this uh, workshop series uh, together today. So Sandra is obviously the fourth workshop that we've had today, the fourth or five, five that we're having all together. Um, and just to give you a bit of information, um, Women in Enterprise is obviously a non-for-profit organization and professional network for women in business. Um, with their network encouraging and empowering women in and into business. But to find out more information about Women in Enterprise, I would encourage you to go to their website, womeninenterprise.biz, so that's B-I-Z, for more information. And I think we've got a good few people in now, so I'm just going to kick off by saying welcome. Um, the session today is being recorded. Um, so if anybody has any issues with that, if they just want to send me a wee message in the chat. Um, but your mic and your video is turned off um, and you'll not be able to turn it on. Uh, on that point, um, please feel free to ask questions as Sandra is delivering her presentation. And you can do that in the wee Q&A box down at the bottom. Um, we are going to hold off till the end and ask all the questions at the end of the session. Um, but feel free to ask questions throughout the whole presentation. and. On that note, I'm going to give over to Sandra. Okay, thank you very much, Gemma. No problem. And um, welcome everybody to um, this presentation on Canva Made Easy. And I'm just basically trying to give an introduction to the software and just an overview of some of the capabilities that it has. Um, it's a very useful tool for designing images that you can use on your social media. Um, for promoting your products or your services. But just before we um, get into the whole Canva, I will just give you a wee bit of an explanation about me. I've actually deliberately left the presentation on this particular screen, giving the full view of the screen because I will be using these panels down the left-hand side and I want you to be able to see how to use those. But just moving on, so my name is Sandra Parry and my business is SP Solutions Bangor. I decided after um, 25 plus years of working as an executive assistant that I wanted to set up my own business and I have the experience to do that. I've worked in the corporate world both here and also internationally. I've worked in um, Australia and New Zealand as well. And with all my experience and relevant qualifications, I've been given a fellowship with the Institute of Administrative Management and have worked for well-known local businesses such as Isaac Agnew and Bombardier. And the two main qualifications that I'm most proud of are my Executive Secretary's Diploma and my Foundation Degree in Hospitality and Tourism. Now, the sort of clients that I would be dealing with would be chairpersons. My main focus in my business is doing minutes of meetings at um, board meetings and committee meetings for not-for-profit and also for corporate organisations. And just a little bit about me personally, I am not only a business owner, but I'm also um, a wife recently of five years, so still an honeymoon period, with two children of my own and two um, grandchildren. So moving on to Canva, Canva, the software, there are different versions that um, you can go for. You can either go for the free version or the pro version. And a lot of people would ask the question, you know, is it, is it worth paying for pro? So pro is really only 833. I've just put this particular slide on here just to give you an idea of the cost. So 833 a month. And I honestly believe if this is something that you're using, all the time or regularly with social media, particularly if you're selling products, it is definitely worth that little bit extra. So really you need to be asking yourself, you know, what will you use it for, the software that is, how often will you use it and what your budget is? And if you revel in intricate details, there are there is a vast array of, of uses that you can use Canva for, and I have even used one with animation and music um, on how to prepare presentations, and you'll be able to see that on my um, LinkedIn. So all in all, I do believe that Pro is well worth that extra money. 
Now, moving on to what we're going to be looking at today, these are the topics that I'm going to be looking at. Um, and it's basically giving you an overview of the dashboard and just making sense of what's going on. It can look a bit busy if you've never seen it before. So I'll just explain a wee bit about what happens on the dashboard. We'll also use um, templates. So if you're, say for example, you want to um, put up a Facebook post and you're having a mind blank. So Canva prepare lots of templates for you. So all you have to do really is go in and just manipulate the image. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, you can also, if you're using the pro version, you can also add your, um, your own color palette of your branding. Um, it's very important as a business to get your branding correct and be consistent throughout um, with your advertising, your social media um, and anything you're doing. So you can create like a brand, what they call a brand kit within Canva, which keeps your logos and your color palettes all together so that it just makes life an awful lot easier. And you'll see that as I demonstrate that later on. You can also link your um, social media to Canva and schedule uh, social media posts directly from the Canva software. Um, use, using Canva for multiple projects, I have a list, there's a slide here, um, and I have a list of all the things that I've used it for. So it's not just for doing images for social media. I actually used it as vouchers at Christmas time because I had left things in, they weren't gonna be here on time. So I just designed something up on Canva and I think the whole thing about Christmas is having something to open. And I was, I'll be able to show you later on what I did and how I did that. And the other thing, um, if you're actually doing social media for clients, then you can create folders within Canva that will keep all of your work organized and make it easier for you to find um, some of your work. So we'll just get stuck straight in here um, and going straight to the dashboard. So making sense of the dashboard, I'll show you first of all in an image. So when you open up your Canva software, I go into the home page separately, but I wanted to show you this first of all. Um, and you want to create an, a, a design of a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post or whatever, something else I should say here actually. Canva have already preset all of the um, sizes for you. So you don't have to worry about, is my image the right size for LinkedIn? Oh, um, Instagram's images are slightly smaller. Canva has all that sorted out. So all you have to do is select what it is that you want. But you would click on this box here, create a design. And I'll show you in a moment what happens whenever you do that. So that's where you would go to start to create your image. Canva also has a learning section. So if you're new to the software, if you go into the learn um, section, they have lots of small um, video clips to show you how to do various things. And it starts from right at the very basics to more complex and more detailed stuff. If there's more than you in your business using the software, you can also set up a team. So you can have um, up to five people on your team and all you do is add their email addresses into the, the team section. So um, it just makes it easier to collaborate with other colleagues on what you're doing or um, your um, clients even. You could um, add your client in and they'll be able to see without having to come to your computer to see what you're doing. Um, with regard to their, their social media posts that you may be doing for them. Now, um, down here, you will see the brand kit and the content planner. And beside that, you will see a little crown. The crown basically identifies that you need to be paying for Canva Pro to, um, to benefit from, from that particular section of, of the software. So going into the homepage in Canva. Now, if you want to create a design and you click on this, right? So there's all sorts of different things, but maybe it's LinkedIn you want to do. So let's make it easier. If you just type in LinkedIn, everything will come up. Your LinkedIn banner, a LinkedIn post, 
a video ad, anything that you want to do. Same with Facebook. Everything will come up. So you just choose, select there what it is that you want to actually do. Now, along, sorry, along this top section, these are all different ideas to prompt you for different things that you want to do. You can create a flyer, cards, all sorts of things. So it's just really a matter of going in. Um, you can do business cards on this as well. So if you don't want to go to the expense of creating a business card, you can design your own initially um, until, until your business is maybe a wee bit further down the line. Um, and as I was saying, in here is your learn section. So these are all the little videos that will show you anything and everything that you want to do, you can find it in here. And this is the team section. So if I go in to this bit um, and click on to Sandra Parry's team, that's where I'll be able to invite members or just invite them straight from here. And as I said, the brand kit and content planner have the little crowns beside them. And those are the bits that you need to have Canva Pro to be able to avail of those. Okay, so that, I mean, that basically is the dashboard. These down here, all of these are all designs that I have recently been working on. And I'll show you a wee bit more about those later on. And as you, as you start to create different images, you'll see all of yours coming up here as well. Okay, so back to the presentation. So that's our dashboard. So if we move on now to using templates and images in Canva, so you can either upload your own images. And to do that, you would go into the upload down here on the left hand side, upload media, click onto that, and then just direct Canva to where you have the images that you want to upload into the software, and it'll bring those into Canva for you. You can also use stock photos. Um, Canva has a mountain of photographs available in there. And just to give you an idea, again, if you're using the free version, um, you'll be able, you'll see all sorts of images that you can use. But if you see an image with the crown, then you can't use that image unless you have subscribed to Canva Pro. Now, to use an image, and um, I'll just go in just to show you how to design an image and manipulate an image and adjust the color path for an image. So I have already gone in and selected a Facebook post um, before the um, webinar started. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. If you go into templates, this is where you will get there are loads of different templates that you can use for your own uh, social media posts. So there, there's a template there, for example, that would have been useful. Well, I actually did use this template on my own social media for this particular webinar. And I'll show you how, I, um, how easily it is to change and adapt that. So if I bring that across onto the screen, you'll see all the different sections coming up with the um the little box around them so those are the different components that make up the the full image and in order for us to to change this and manipulate it just pick something on it for example business webinar so these aren't my brand colors so the idea is is to go in change everything to your own brand colors so this is text. We go up to the text section and you'll see the color that the text is in down at the bottom. So we want to change that to my branding. Now, um, the, I'll show you how to set your toolkit, but mine is already in here. So we want to change that to my branding color. So there you go. Simple, really easy. Now, the same with this, um, this shape here that is like a sort of a tail color. You go in and select the color square and again, change that to my branding. And that honestly is 
how easy it is to manipulate these images. Now these are a greeny color again, so I'm gonna change those to be my branding. This one, I'm not sure, it's white. So I'm gonna change it to the lilac color of my branding and then change the text to Sandra Parry and and so on. So there you go. There is the image looking. And I'll tell you what, now that's definitely not me. So if I go to uploads and choose an image of me, same sort of shape, and just slide that in there. So there's an image now that is all done to my branding with me in it. I've changed this to introduction to Canva. And then you would just carry on there, change your date, and that's it. That is how easy it is to create an interesting image in your own branding using Canva and using one of their templates. Now you can design your own, um, and I'll show you in Elements just a little bit later on, but that's how easy it is to do. And then to download it, you would give it, give your image a name, and then use this to download. And you can download in multiple formats. So PNG is your highest quality image, JPEGs, we have all heard of JPEGs. If you're doing a document, just download it as a PDF and so on and so forth. So you have multiple options there for downloading your image as well. So moving on, creating a branded color palette. Now my branding is in here. If I go into logos, then I have my logo already set up here. Um, in order to create your own brand kit, you go into the brand kit and you can you click the plus and then select your logo from wherever it is that your logo is stored. And then add your brand colors. Now, if you know what the hex number for your brand colors are, the hex number is this little hash 3B, 2D, 6E, that's where you'll find um, your actual color. And you just add that in there and that creates your brand kit. And then that means whenever you go to change any of your colors, like I did here, and you select the color, your brand kit shows up here and it just makes it easier for you to change. You don't need to remember your hex colors or what color of purple your, um, your branding is. It's all sitting there ready for you to use. And again, there's the little crown that shows that I have Canva Pro and that's why that is sitting there. Like another useful thing, and I just see this coming up, when you have an image on your, um, on your design, you can also select, you'll see here, um, Canva has picked up this photograph of me but it has also picked up the background colors that are also on this. So if, for example, I wanted to change this white to one of these colors, I can do that. And it still tones with the image and my branding. So that's also very useful. Now, so that's, that's basically your brand kit then. Um, moving on to, oh gosh, I'm going quicker than I thought it was. Okay, so here's a useful tip. Um, if you're using Canva and you have, you have a page and you just want to, rather than go to select test, test, if you just type T onto the screen, it'll automatically put a text box in there for you. So that's useful for you as well. And I've already explained then how to do this. Um, uh, just sort of manipulating this image. 
Now, another useful thing to know, some images that you may have, and it could be on your logo, would have a white background. And if you have a nice design, um, you don't want this white background showing and just spoiling the look of everything. You can take that off. So if you select the image that has the white background and then go to edit image and select background remover. Now, again, background remover is a Canva Pro um, tool. So if you just click on that, you'll see the background mover will, so that's it away. So the square, the white square box has now disappeared and you're left just with your logo um, and no white square box spoiling the design on you. Now, if I just carry on, just a few more tips on manipulating images. So I have preset pre-prepared this particular screen. And what I wanted to show you here is how to adjust your contrast and your brightness and color saturation. So you select the photo, go into edit image, just get rid of this. And here you have your brightness contrast. So if your image is maybe a wee bit too bright or you want a wee bit more color in it, then you can make your changes there. Okay, and then on this particular one, this guy's wearing a nice blue shirt. If you don't want a particular color on, on this element, um, and I'll show you how these elements have been set up, then you can change the background of that. And if you just go into the color box and change that to a nice blue, which goes with his shirt, then that's how to do that. In this particular image, maybe you want this image to be black and white. Then all you have to do is take your color saturation off completely. And that leaves you, pardon me, <coughs> with um, a plain black and white image. Now, so moving on again how to create something like this. If you don't see a template where um, it maybe has an image design that you want, you can create your own, your own design and um, you, you use elements to do that. And I have actually, I have pre-selected the elements that I want to use, but I'll just show you where they are. If you go in here on the left-hand side again, down to, to elements just where the mouse is. You can have, there are various shapes. If you select see all, then you have all the different shapes that Canva have that you can use. And you, all you do is click and drag it across onto your, um, onto your screen or your page. Um, the same with, now if you're using a photo and you want a photo, to go into a space, but not the whole image. You have to use a frame. So think of it like a picture frame. Um, so frames, all of your options are up here as well. <coughs> Pardon me, tickle on the back of my throat. So those are all the different shapes of frames. You could have just three images if you like. There's an abundance of choice here. So there's a vast array of options. <coughs> Pardon me. I have chosen this archway one. And then if we go back to elements, I find this one on the um, shapes as well. So all you do basically, you have your different elements. This was an archway that I found in shapes the frame, the image, <coughs> and this separate shape. So just move them and put them all together. Good gracious, sorry. I have a real tickle on the back of my throat. And then you just slide them in. And to put the image into the frame, just drag the image down and it will automatically set itself into that frame. 
and then you can set about changing the colors to match your branding. And then if I want to add my name, just type T, brings text box in. Sandra Parry, just change the color of that to the darker purple. And that's how easy it is to create your own design and you can do that. And then to make it easier to move that around, you can adjust it as well. So if you wanna make that image a wee bit bigger. And then <clears throat> if you're moving that around a page, you don't want to be moving. There's the archway, the image, this box and the text box. You don't wanna be moving four different boxes so you can group them all together. So if you hold your shift key down and then select all the different components and then up to the top, you see group, group them all together and then you can move it as one. Whereas before you would have to move each one individually. So that's a wee bit about elements, shapes, frames and grouping. Now, moving on. Now, this is something I particularly like. If you have um, an image like this, for example, um, and there's a lot of background and it might, you might think it looks a bit boring. You might want to do something a wee bit more interesting to it. So what you would do is use an image and change the, tra the transparency of the image because all you want is a wee bit of interest in the background. Now, to do that, go to Photos, and this is where all Canva photos are sto stored, and go up to the search bar. So this lady's from Dubai. Click Dubai in. And all you need to do is select an image and drag it across. Now, I'm going to use this one. So it automatically goes in there. Pardon me. <clears throat> Um, now that's two. We don't want it to be the full on bright um, as the, because then it just it clashes with the text, et cetera, et cetera. So what you can do is change the transparent transparency of the image by going up to this little sort of chessboard. And that will let you adjust the transparency of the image so that you can just make it a background image and really soften the look but just make the slide that wee bit more interesting looking rather than looking at, you know, a, a blank color of gray. So that's, that's just another wee tip on how you can make your presentations or your image look a wee bit more interesting. Um, another tip just on, on that particular topic there. So if you have, a slide, for example, um, with three different images on it. <coughs> Pardon me. And maybe none of the image really match your brand now. What you can do, if you go into where the color palette is, you'll see the three different images here. And as I showed you before, all of the colors have been picked up from each image. So there's the orange, and the beiges, browns, and the dark sky, and the same with this one. So there, those are all the colors that you can choose for the background of this particular image. And those colors are all within those three images. And all you have to do is select the color. If we go to the green, blue, and just pick a color that suits what you want your picture to look like. So that's that's another useful tip for use within Canva. Now creating your brand color palette. I've already done that. <laughs> I've already showed you how to do that. So just again, that's in here. And you can name if you just click on this pencil, you can name your um your brand. And if you're doing another brand, um, for maybe another client, 
then you can add another one and change the name. And that's basically all you need to do there. And again, um, the brand kit and the content planner are both on the Canva Pro option. Now, linking your social media. You can actually, if you create an image, you can actually create your post and schedule it on, on your social media directly from the Canva software. And this is relatively new. This has really only come in, I think, in the last um, 18 months or so. And the way to do that is to click on your settings from the home screen. And I will just show you that. So if you go to settings, and you'll see down here at the bottom, I have my Facebook and my LinkedIn connected on my Canva, which enables me then to schedule my social media posts if I wanted to directly from Canva. Now you can use your own social media scheduler if you have a different means of scheduling social media. If you want to, it's very much up to you, but the option is there to use it straight within Canva. And to um, schedule your post, you just go into the content planner. Again, this is something that's available on Canva Pro. And all you do is click on the plus button. Your recent images will come up here. There's the one that I used for the, for the, um, for the post for this particular workshop. And I scheduled, I did my social media then from here. And it will automatically, you can set your time and date. I'm just wondering why if I say I go into this. So there you go. Tuesday, the 8th of March, 45. So you can edit your design and go in, change the dates. So you can put whatever date and time that you want your post to actually schedule and post to your social media. So that's your scheduler. Now, moving on. Right, sorry, I've done that. Using Canva for multiple projects. These are some of the examples of what I have actually used Canva for. So I have used it for presentations. I've used it for obviously for this presentation. And I'm continually adapting this presentation. Each one of these I do, I think of something else that I can put into it or re, you know, move it around um, and, and change it slightly. I've used it for my own welcome pack um, in my business. I've used it for social media images. I redesigned my husband's um, CV. I did um, a logo design for a friend of mine who was thinking about, um, she actually helps me from time to time. I've used it for study coursework. I've used it for a video clip. <clears throat> I'm not sure, I, I wanna try and let you see this, but you can use it, you know, create your own wee video clip just with animation. You can add animation in more advanced um, Canva. <clears throat> you can add animation on music. Um, and as I said, I used it for uh, doing little gift vouchers for my family at Christmas time <coughs> for gifts that weren't actually going to arrive in time. So this is my husband's CV. And all I did was search templates and searched for CV. That's actually the one that I used. This one here. So that was that was the one that was there and I adapted it and created one for my husband and we put he just wanted all of his CV to be on one page um this was the Christmas gift um I had left two posters that my husband absolutely loved there were places that he had been and left them in to be framed they weren't going to be ready in time for Christmas. And I just did up this way design for him, put it in an envelope and he opened it on Christmas morning. So whilst it wasn't the actual frame pictures, at least he knew what was coming. And it was all done up with Christmas decorations and stuff as well. So 
really, really easy to do all sorts of stuff. And you'd be surprised at what you would actually use it for. And if you're involved in <coughs> a committee or girl guides or anything like that, you can use it for those. Now, moving on, creating folders within Canva. If I go to the homepage um, and go into, where do I see? Sorry, my recent designs. Good gracious, my projects. So here we go. So my projects, if I go in there, these are, you can add folders and you just, sorry, you can just create a new folder. There should be, sorry, um, there should be an option here to create a new folder. Oh, it'll be this. So add a new folder, new folder, there you go. And and you just click on that, it'll open up a blank folder. You give your folder a title, and these are all the folders that I have. I need to clean these up actually, because a lot of these I'm not using anymore. And organize all your work in folders. You could have it sorted out in like social media posts, LinkedIn posts, um, et cetera, et cetera, whatever way you wanna organize your work. Okay, so, and as I was saying, you can really bring your Canva designs to life with music and animation. And what I always say is the only limit in, um, in Canva really is, is your imagination. Now, this particular video clip, I'm going to try and play this and hopefully it will play and hopefully you will be able to hear it correctly. I tried this with my husband the other day, but he said that he couldn't hear it. But Hi, Sandra, if you just want to, um, we kind of hear the sound there. If you just want to stop sharing your screen and then go back into share screen. Sorry? If you just want to stop sharing your screen for just a second. Okay, yes. Back into screen share. And at the bottom um, corner, you should see a button that allows you to select with sound and click on that. Oh, share sound? Yeah. If I, there's, oh, right, okay. So if you click that then and then share and then it should whenever you play it the sound should be there oh right okay sorry you want to put that back to the start yeah yeah we can hear it now so if you want to just put that back to the Not start. Wrong. Oh, So that, I mean, that basically is a, a short animation clip that I posted on my um, LinkedIn social media, um, just on how, to, I, and I did that just around the beginning of lockdown because I had been to different networking events and some of the presentations were not the best. Um, so I created that then and just put it up on my um, social media. So that's basically, everything that I have to uh, to tell you today. Now, I'm going to put this, this particular link into the chat box. Um, as I have Canva Pro, then if you want to start using Pro and use this particular link, you can, um, you can get a premium, you can get a premium element for free. So I'm, I'm just going to add this into, that's it. 
into the chat box for you there. Um, and again, 8.33 monthly for uh, up to five people on your team. Okay. And that's more or less it. So <laughs> if you have any questions, um, I will try, try and answer questions for you. That was great, Sandra. Thank you so much. Thanks, um, Emma. I, um, I just have one question here. Um, I'm just going to ask you to yeah, get things started. And that is that someone has put in that they've heard about a thing called um, smart mock-ups, but they're oh, not right, sure okay. what it means. Could you right. give me an overview? Right, okay. Smart mock-ups basically is, um, it's easier to show you rather than tell you. <laughs> I'm going to bring my this this image here is basically a is the front page of my website. So, for example, if you are wanting to um, put an image in your design that is someone using a laptop, for example. So, if I go in here, smart mockups, and click see all. So there's phone, laptop, piece of card, book, T-shirt, hoodie, all sorts of things. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see everything that's there. So say I want to do, um, I want to select this here, this particular laptop. But rather than have, you know, um, some image that's not relevant, well, like the one that's on my website, for example, <laughs> If I drag this across, oh, come on. Why is that not working? Oh, I just have to select it, sorry. What it actually does is, because I have the, the image already on my screen, what it, is that sharing okay? Can you see that okay, Gemma? Yeah, we can see that, yeah, no problem. Right, so what that has actually done is put the image of my website straight onto the laptop within the image. So, and that's basically what a smart mock-up is. Um, so that's, you can do that with a phone. Um, well, let me take that off a wee second and I'll try it. I'll use it with the phone as well. So if I, right, um, edit image. Smart mockups. Um, go down to the phones, smartphones. Okay, let me see if there's one that's right. I'll click that one. There you go. Now that. I know you can resize it as well. I'm just not 100% sure. I haven't really used this much, um, but there is a way to resize this as well. Now, adjust. No, it's not that one, sorry. I'll have to, I'll have to get back to you on that, but there is a way that you can resize that to, um, to make it fit the screen that you're, you're wanting to use. Now, another thing that you can do just while we're on this, if I bring in my logo and go to edit image, go into smart mockups and go to the hoodie. That has put my logo onto the hoodie. Oh gosh resizing <laughs> oh dear but just why is that not letting me do that i'm in the wrong place let me do this the other way around um edit image see all Oh gosh, 
right? I'm not an expert at it, obviously, but that is roughly, that's basically what it is. You can set an image of your, um, of your own website into a laptop, or it can be your product, um, for example, and, um, and have that. If you're, like, say you sell, like, nice scented candles, you can have someone using the phone with one of your nice scented candles on the phone. And that's basically what smart mock-ups are. Admittedly, I'm not an expert, but, um, and I haven't used it a lot, but it's, it's just a matter of playing around and, um, and working out how you can adjust it. But that's basically what smart mock-ups are. Sorry about that. No, you're okay. Thank you very much. Um just had one person ask um raise their hand there um if you want if you've got a question or something and you want to go ahead just take your mic, mic off mute, mute. So with Siobhan Siobhan no maybe not uh, maybe if you want to put it in the chat and I can send the, if you have a question for Sandra, I can send it on to her and get her to answer it offline if you want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. If anybody has any questions, um, I have absolutely no problems um, writing back. So if you if you want to do that, that's fine. I can do that. That's great. Sandra, thank you so much for your presentation and your great tips. Um, it's absolutely amazing what you can do now on the Canva. And, yeah, and it's and really, great, it really is a great thing. thing. It's the CV. An and, mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, I use it for I use it for lots of things. Yeah, no, it's, it's brilliant. And, and thank you very much for your time and participating in Enterprise Week. Um, no problem at all. It's been my pleasure. And I would encourage everybody, if they haven't already, to go on and have a look at the Enterprise Week program on our website, www.dairystraband.com forward slash Enterprise Week and register for the remaining events happening throughout the week. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody, for attending. And Sandra, thank you. And again, thank you to Women in Enterprise for all their support and pulling this event together today. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a million, everyone. Thanks now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.